Mount Zion, it's time, St. Paul, that we put the splendor of God on display. And, and can I tell you this? He, he says that display should start out in the church. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. Love. That it's hard for a pastor to have love in one church, but I you have it in three churches. I How agree. can you do that? Well, um, you have to understand a church, a congregation, have a tendency to take on the spirit of their pastor. Yes. Uh, I'm loving, I display love, I demonstrate love, so it's easy. Simply because you and I were at war with God, Jesus justified us through his redemption blood. And because we've been justified by his redemption blood, we've been brought into the peace of God. Now we are no longer at war with God. But we've been justified. Being justified simply means that the charges against us have been dropped. Simply means that you've been acquitted. That simply means that you've been set free by the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, I want you to elaborate on how large is your family because a lot of people don't really people know only see us how big. They, they, they may think you have three nieces, and well, we know that's not the case. We know that, that it's not. <laughs> well, well. I may have different things that we can do it well, and that's just a gift from God. Yes, yes. And I plan, as far as you know, being pastor, I plan to tap into everything, every uh, area of my life that that God has blessed me with, to use those talents to benefit the kingdom of God. Well, I want to. Lord, 
Savior Jesus Christ. I'm coming on the power of power that happened here tonight. And if you wasn't here, you missed a hallelujah and a glorious time in Jesus' name. You should have been here. And on behalf of St. Paul Baptist Church and the members and my pastor, I hope this reach you and the blessing in the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. It was a blessing to be here. Pastor lifts my heart every time I hear him speak. Yes, uh, continue to keep us together, continue to strengthen us. And I think the biggest thing that um, this family is going to make a difference in, in people's lives uh, when they're going to really see how we can love on each other. Amen. And in closing for me, my closing statement is, you know, we discussed how it is for you to be the pastor and the uncle. And now, in my personal opinion, to be the niece of a pastor. It isn't always easy because pastor, guilty, no, it is not. uncle, David, uncle Rev, as the kids would call him, he holds us with such high regard that he wants us to not just sing about God, not just come to church on Sunday and go through the motions, but to love God, believe Him, and live for Him. Yeah. And it's not always easy, but I appreciate you. And we love because you. Because you don't let us get away with anything. And we love Thank you. Thank God for you. And we love you. Thank you. Thank you.